Hey everybody, this is Diane. I am still on vacation. Today is Wednesday, but yesterday I went up to the stores that I go to occasionally. Um, my shopping centers where Sam's Club is and some other things, but that's where I go to my craft stores. So I went to Michael's and Joann's and Hobby Lobby yesterday. So I just want to show you what I got. Uh, I didn't get a ton, which is good because I don't need a ton. And, but before I start showing you those things, I wanted to show you these Viewmaster reels. When I did the haul on my recent um, flea market at the Barnes, and I said that the man gave me a discount off of a lot of the books that I bought, the kids' books, and I couldn't, when I added it up at home, I didn't see where he had taken money off, even though he told me, you can have this one for this much instead of that, whatever. <clears throat> but I was like, okay, well, he charged me what it was worth. Maybe he just, I don't know. I don't know what I thought, but I wasn't concerned about it too much. But then I found these in my purse because I had forgotten I had these. So these were a dollar each and I got six of them. So that makes up for, <laughs> that was the discount that he would have given me, that he gave me on the books. And because I didn't add these into my what I spent, I couldn't find the discount. But there it is. There's my discount. So it's like I got these free. I just picked out, they had a whole bunch of them and they were a dollar each. So I just picked out some that had different colors. Got two green ones, these two blue, and a different kind of a blue. And this red one um, says a Bible story. So that can go in a faith journal. But I just wanted to show them to you. So now on to the craft stores. I'm going to go by each store. This one is from Michaels. I needed some green cardstock, so I looked for that. And um, they did have their cardstock on sale. I don't really care for Michaels sales because you have to buy multiple items to get the sale price. So it was buy one, get one. It was either 40 or 50 percent off. But I needed the green, so that was a good time to do it. So I got green cardstock, and then I thought I needed some yellows too which I didn't check, but I'm pretty sure I needed yellows. So I got this one with orange and yellow, so. Whatever. I needed them. Um, I think I picked this up at Michael's too. It doesn't really matter. Just my glue stick that I use. It is Elmer's Craft Bond. Oh no, it's not the one. This is repositionable and that is not what I wanted. I thought it was extra strength. And I picked up one of these red tapes that I like to use when I'm making my covers. Um, I know it's cheaper at Hobby Lobby, but sometimes they don't have it. So I picked up one roll just in case. And I got some beads. The beads were actually by three, get three free. So it's the same as buy one, get one, but you have to buy more ridiculous the way they do their sales but I love these beads I had bought some of them before I think I bought all of these before but I added these this time so these are just flat kind of a flat bead and I love the colors and some little round ones look like little gumballs and these are rounder but they're flat they're like in between those two and then the little squares. I think the squares are adorable. I'm using more beads now with um, putting them on the strings on the sides instead of doing chain dangles and stuff like that. I still will do them, but I'm using more beads now that I have an easier way to do it. And I added these heart ones and these star ones. I love them. I think that's all I got at Michael's. And then I went to... Hobby Lobby. And Hobby Lobby is disappointing. There was nothing in the craft department on sale that I was interested in. No paper, no stamps. Um, yeah, and no laces. Nothing was on sale. Something is always on sale at Hobby Lobby. And then, in addition to that, their paper crafting is really, really cut down. So... I guess we're just going to have to shop online for our craft supplies eventually. 
But I picked this stamp up because it was pretty inexpensive, even not on sale. It was $2.99, and it's cute. And I, like I said before, I'm not going to make strawberry journals this year. At least I'm not planning on it. But I can, I love the strawberry stamp, and I can use that for other things. It doesn't have to go in a strawberry journal. I picked up um, this fat quarter because I love the chickens. Let me get it turned around. There we go. Isn't that adorable? They're like perfect junk journal chickens with all the different patterns. And um, oranges. Now, I think I was thinking of lemons. I knew they were oranges when I bought them, but I have a small collection of lemon things that I thought would make a fun kind of maybe not a theme but a focus for a journal in the summertime and when I saw this I grabbed it and when I got home I thought no it's not oranges you want it's lemons but I could still use this in anything maybe I'll just turn it into a citrus journal and this was on clearance the other one was their fat quarters are really cheap and I just threw the things away that I just peeled off the labels but I think it's a dollar 49 regular price they just my waste basket just absorbed them because I don't see I don't see those labels that I just threw in there anyway um, they're a dollar 49 and then this was really cheap like 50 cents or something like that all right, and then I got these because I have some bigger eyelets, but I don't have anything to set them with. So I compared the, the sizes, 5 16 and this works on 5 16 And I'm not sure if this is the size that I already have. So I bought these two together, and I'm going to try them. And if these are the size I already have in different colors, they're, they're all metal, but the different metals, um, I'll have a tool for them. So yay. And they did have three rolls of my red tape, so I got all three of them. They're $1.50 as compared to uh, $2.99 for this, so it's like half price. And I just got some Vintage Photo Distress Oxide because I needed it. And these, because you may know that I got these colored ones off of Amazon, and they just don't work as well. I'll still use them, but I really like these, and I needed some a couple more of the big ones. I have these two. That one's really big. And yeah, the rest of them are small, so now I have four of the larger ones. I hope they work. And then I went to Joann's, and I got some very colorful things at Joann's. I got more beads. They were a better price, a better sale there. In their cheap bins, it used to be a dollar and then a dollar fifty. Now they're two fifty, but they were they they're often on sale and they were buy to get to. So I picked out four items. These are tags that are already done with the shaker. And I thought they'd be really fun to add to a journal, of course. Just want to open one. So I got the striped one and the polka dot one. They're cute. I could put something on the back that could be journaled on. Change out the white ribbon for something fun. So there's four in a pack. So, since they were buy two, get two, um, it was, you know, $1.25. I was trying to think, was it really buy two, get two, or could have been buy one, get three? Because I think something was like that. Anyway, they were on sale. And these were the other two items that were in that bin, so. Just some long, thin journaling spots for when you need a long, thin journaling spot. The beads, uh, they were 60% off, pretty sure. 
So I found some really fun, colorful ones. This one isn't exactly a bead, but it's got two loops. And so I could, oh, it's got four loops actually, top and bottom. So I'll figure out a way to use them and attach them. I think they're really pretty. And these are glass mushrooms in bright colorful colors and some pearlescent white crosses. These are wonderful. They would be good in a Christmas journal or many other kinds of journals. I find that I use a lot of red beads, so I needed to buy some more plain red beads. And these candy ones, they're really fun. And they, they're, they feel a little bit rubbery, but they don't squish. They're just soft soft plastic and I love them. It says clay actually. Clay beads, natural red jasper. I didn't realize that the content was up here. Plastic beads, shell beads, glass beads, and metal slider. And then I splurged on these because these are expensive and you only get one yard. Although they, they put it on here as three feet because it sounds like more. But look at how beautiful that is. I love that. I'll have to use it sparingly. Make it go a long way. And this also was one yard. And it's soft, very soft and lovely. So yeah, that was a splurge. And that takes care of my sh uh, craft shopping haul for today. I think I will do some, my grandson's gonna come over after school to do some mowing and his mother, I don't know if his mother will come or if I'll just go pick him up. I don't know how it's working, but I may not have a free afternoon because if she comes, we'll probably hang out for a while, which would be great. But um, so I think this morning I am going to do some work in my collage book or my di my journal. So I might do I just might turn the camera on while I do that. So you have some more videos to watch while I'm on vacation. Thanks so much for watching this one and I'll see you soon. And I hope you are having a creative day today. Bye bye.